Well, when you're a vet, you have no idea what might come to your doors, and that makes for some really exciting real reality TV. For four seasons, our guests today have brought us touching moments, thrilling moments, and unpredictable moments on Animal Planet's hit series, The Vet Life. Most clinics typically treat cats and dogs, but at Cypher Adam Hospital, we treat them all. She is shedding, which is normal. You know, a lot of people think kinkachus are monkeys. They're part of the raccoon family. He's, he's close to the face. He's moving at me, so good boy. Nobody move. Nobody gets hurt. Stinky? <laughs> yes. You don't smell? Do you smell that? I, I apologize in advance if it, <laughs> if it shoots on you. Hi, Mommy. Meet the babies. Good job, Ella. Aw, all right, Dr. Diara Blue and Dr. Aubrey Ross and Dr. Michael Levine are here this morning to answer your pet questions. And we have Pet Parents in live to the audience as well. You can give us a call from home at 713-533-5230. 713-533-5230. Oh, she's on the move. She's on the move. All right. Uh, really, fleas and ticks can be a problem in Houston all year long, but when things warm up, they heat up too. Yeah, fleas and ticks are going to be an issue year-round. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the winter that just kind of kills everything off. Uh, and we have a lot of, we subtropical, so a lot of the vibrations that we get from thunder and rain, it helps perpetuate that. Uh, we have to be careful that we treating all of our animals for fleas and ticks, not just the dogs, yeah, not just the cats. Yeah, a lot of people have, out, uh, have animals that might be indoor, outdoor, and then right. some that are just indoor. Right. You got to treat them all. Because the animals that are outdoors are going to let the animals hit your, the fleas hit your ride indoors to your animals that are not on prevention. All right, and then they'll jump on them. You wonder why your, your medication isn't working. Yeah. You got to treat everybody. Yeah. yeah. Even the cats. Yeah. I had a lady come in yesterday, had four dogs and a cat, and they were just all infested with fleas. Wow. And uh, it's just, you know, this environment is going to be real bad, especially in the summertime. But like Dr. Blue says, it's all year round. Yeah, and cats in particular, because they groom themselves so often, they'll get that little the flea and they'll bite it, and then they end up with, and what, tape worms? Tape worms. And yeah. that, that can go to people. That's zoonotic. Oh, stop the madness there. Yeah. yeah. Right? We got to be careful. And yeah. then you also have to treat your yard. You know, you can treat the, your pets, but if you don't treat the environment as far as your grass, your house, it's going to be a, a vicious cycle. Like mm -hmm. Dr. Bean told his client yesterday, yeah, you treat your animals, but you have fleas outside in your yard that's continually getting on right and that's why i did because i actually yeah a carpet rug right. whole bit yeah and I, I remember we had treated our, our dog and she had fewer fleas mm -hmm. but the reason why she still had some was because it was outside in the yard right. right okay uh another issue of course is we have um mosquitoes mm -hmm. and those cause other issues yeah. Yeah. Right. mosquitoes they are the harbor of heartworms all right, dogs usually get heartworms, cats can get it too. There's no treatment in cats, so yeah. you definitely want to prevent it from getting into your cats with a great product. But in dogs, you give a monthly chew, that's like a, a little love. It's easy to do, but you got to do it. I yes. think it's because we don't see them and, 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 the, and they don't talk to us, we don't know. And if you have heartworms, it can fester for a while, right? Yeah, you won't, you, silent killer we call it. You don't know they have it, and then all of a sudden your dog's got heart disease. You wonder why what's going on. You take them, a simple blood test shows you that they have it. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're giving them that monthly treat to make sure that they're not developing heartworms and then you got this thing going on that snowballs into a very dangerous disease. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm getting off topic now, but I'm looking at, you know, your name, Dr. Diara Blue. You mm -hmm. sound like you should be a jazz singer. <laughs> Di I, that's right. Diara Blue, live tonight. <laughs> All right, we have some folks in our live studio audience, including some kids who are uh, mesmerized by what you all do, and I think it's such a natural thing for kids to, to love animals, and so our first question comes from, hi, what's your name? Isabella. Isabella, what's your question? Uh, what is the most exotic animal you've ever taken care of? Ah. We saw <laughs> some exotic animals in that show up in there. Yeah, we, we, quite a few. we see. Yeah, go ahead, Doc. No, I, you, you're the exotic guy. So Mine's a tiger. I've, I've seen <laughs> it. I've treated a tiger. We treated tigers, hyenas. Um, a hy somebody brought in a, yeah. it wasn't but a pet hyena, was it? It was a pet. It no. was a pettish. Pettish. It was, yeah. We didn't bring them in. We went and saw oh, them. Oh, okay. They, they needed uh, yeah. a physical, physical exam. exam. Uh, uh, right here in Houston, Texas. Yeah. Oh, Houston, there's Texas. a hyena. Kangaroos. We've seen kangaroos, okay. lemurs, kinkachus, cotamundis. Camel. camel. One, one hump yeah. camel. A what? We treated camel. a one hump camel. And uh, me and Dr. Ross actually did uh, spades on two wolves at the wolf, wolf sanctuary oh, wow. down in Conroe. Yeah. But we don't need to bring up the tiger. We need to stop talking about the yeah, tiger. That, that, that tiger <laughs> was amazing, though. Yeah, but yeah like but every now and then. I didn't get to see the tiger. Oh, so you they left the you out. We're going to oh, make okay. a Deborah Duncan clause today. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about the tiger, the tiger when Dr. Blue's in the room. Because you didn't get to see the tiger. I didn't, I didn't get to see the camel. 
Mm. <laughs> what, what the it's all on video, though. Y'all yeah. can like, look at it on video. Yeah. Uh, what, what brings up a point, though, because I remember I had to take in a chinchilla, mm, and they said, I'm sorry, our chinchilla expert's not here right now. Uh, we'll give her a call. Okay. So, But there are vets who specialize in certain things. There's kind of overall dogs and cats, but then there are those right. who uh, specialize in certain things. So you all have a, a wider variety than some vets might have in terms of cheating pets. Yeah, we, we, we see many species. Obviously, every day is dog and cats, mm -hmm. and uh, I have an interest in farm animals, large animals. Uh, Dr. Ving surgery. Dr. Ross is going to be, you know, sitting for his exotic board soon. So he does oh, all the cool. exotics. Yeah. You know, that's his forte. I just help out when I can. But if you've got a pig. That's I'm you. <laughs> Farm animals is you. Well, you all make a great team. You actually met at vet uh, uh, school, right? Yes. Yeah. Over at yeah. Tuskegee University. Way back in the day. Yeah, way back oh, in the day. Oh, Down oh, in oh, Alabama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right.